guess who's back? That's a terrible intro. I've lost my touch. <laughs> episode of the Dear Friend Podcast. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are a new viewer, episode of the Dear Friend Podcast. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are a new viewer, hi, I'm Eden. I'm the owner of Yarrow Co. where I sell a bunch of handmade treasures and my knitting patterns which you can also get on Lovecrafts and Payhip. You can find me on Instagram as yarrowmail44 and you can find my Lovecrafts uh, at Yarrow and Co. And yeah, all links are down below. Thank you so much for uh, just clicking on this episode and joining me for a little yarn time. So I am in my brand new room. Um, the move to our new home was a whirlwind. It was such a roller coaster, but we made it. We are safe. We're healthy. So that is the most important part. And the, the room right now is a little bleh because I haven't put up my art yet or um, my shelving, but that will be um, this weekend's projects but at least back here I've got a uh, Darby of course and then this what used to be a little succulents um, greenhouse but then I cleared it out and put all my scraps in there I got lily yarn down there yeah so it's coming along it's becoming more and more my room um, the tea I'm drinking today in my Kent Rollins mug. He is my favorite chefs in the whole world. I'm a huge fan of him. And so that is in his Yeti mug. I am drinking a David's tea. I brought the container. It's super cute. It's got cactuses on it. But this is called Pear Blossom. And it has pear, apple, candied papaya, candied pineapple, rosehip peel, sunflower blossoms, stevia extract, and natural flavoring. And it is really good. It's just a fruit infusion. And I put a little oat milk in there. But, mm, so yummy. Oat milk has become one of my favorite things to put in my coffees and my teas and even just drinking it like milk is uh, it's delicious mm. so that's my tea it is a super dreary day out there's a little wind it stopped raining for now at least I had gone for a little walk to go check the mail um, but <laughs> At least it stopped raining for me to do that. It was a little windy, but it was actually pretty refreshing. Puts a little, put a little color in your cheeks when you... Hmm. So I have a bunch of knitting to show you. Some crocheting. I'm put my tea down. So I have no finished objects, but I've gotten a lot of work done on some whips. Um, she talk about what I'm wearing. This is the only knit I'm wearing right now. This is the cowboy cowler. This is my own pattern. It's just a double looped cowl. It looks like a bandana. And uh, I love it. The yarn was Nano Stitch Lab. It was part of their um, female scientist series hmm I'll put it down here when I can remember but it's a beautiful shade of red Oops, sorry and I have made this one for my brother because red is his favorite color but I just stole it today because I thought it went well with this dress so yeah 
I guess it's just better just hop right into all these whips. So excited. So first work in progress. I've gotten a lot of work done on. This was my most knit on project while we were coming down and on the hours and hours of driving we had to do, but it helped me get a lot of work done. So this is my muscle burr hat by Isolda. Oops. <laughs> there was a quarter in there. Oh my goodness. Of all things. <laughs> yeah, so I've gotten a ton of work done on this. I think I have about five more inches to go and then I can do the decreases for the other end. On here I just have, this is a little progress keeper from Wild in the Woods. It's a bit of lavender in there. And then this used to be a necklace. It's a little Captain America mask. This is a hat for my boyfriend. Um, it's a little bit of a tradition that I knit him a hat every year. This will be my third year doing it. And it is so pretty and a really cool pattern. So the yarn is Snow Day from Ruby and Roses and it's on her little Stellina base. And it is so pretty. It looks, this looks a lot darker in the light. I don't know how I can make that paler, but it, it's, it's a little deeper in that. Maybe if I come closer. It, it's a little lighter than what the light is giving me. This is very intense, but it kind of reminds me of the Northern Lights. And I love that. It's so pretty. I've been really enjoying this knit. I had intended to have it done before I got here so that I could surprise him with it, but that didn't happen. But that's okay. I will work on it slowly um, here and there and try and get it done because we're coming into more of the warmer months and he will not need it at all. So work on that slowly and have it done for next fall. And oh, my needles, right. I am doing this on size three millimeter needles. And this is all, this is a full fingering weight skein. And this is how much I have left. So I definitely have enough to do the whole hat, which is great. So that's my first whip. My next whip I have is a crochet project that I have been doing a lot. The last time you saw this, it was just a little, little triangle. And now, holy smokes, I don't think I'll be able to fit it in the frame. It's a big shawl triangle. But this is the Penelope shawl by Carolyn Christmas. And it has been such an enjoyable make. I love this pattern. It's simple, but beautiful. And the colors have worked up so lovely. It's super soft. So this is the Ferris wheel yarn from, oh dear, Lion Brand. This is all I have left. I have one full skein. Just give me a second. So here it is in the skein. This is Ferris Wheel from Lion Brand. It is a worsted weight, 100% uh, acrylic. It has been beautiful and so soft. It's incredible. I've never felt a acrylic yarn more soft. <laughs> So I'm, I'm almost done this shawl. I just need to put the um, scalloped edging on it with, hopefully I can do that with the rest of this skein. I won't need to get into my last one. This is the third one. So yeah, I'm doing this with a size six 
millimeter hook, which I believe is a J hook. And it has been so nice and great crocheting for when I'm watching a movie. And this is a, this isn't for me, this is a commission from a friend and this shawl will be going to her mother-in-law. And then I'm working on another shawl for her, which I will get into um, pretty soon. I want those done really soon. And then the other one is a pattern that I'm designing just for her. So that's my second work in progress. I'm not going through these too fast for you. Let's take a little tea break. I also have a little, little treat with me here today. I don't know. These are something in Canada. I don't know if they're in any other places, but this is a green tea Kit Kat bar. These are my favorite treats. One of my favorite little treats to have. And my boyfriend got me a bunch of them because he knows how much I love them. And they're just these little, they're regular Kit Kats, but they have green tea. So if you like matcha, it's a little bit like that, but um, a whole lot sweeter. Sneak a little bite. Okay. Mm. So good. All right. My next work in progress, I think I'll show you these next. So these socks have, they haven't had as much work on them as I thought I would get done on them, but that's okay. These are my, on um, any time I'm out of the house or at the beach, these are the socks that I've been working on. These, because they're very mindless, it's nice to have whenever I go out. So these are my bluegrass socks. Um, it's a pattern by Amy Kate of the Graceful Tangle. I was one of the testers for her for these socks and I loved it so much that I had to cast on another pair. So it's got some pretty ribbing patterns in there. And the yarn I am using is Mondim yarn. And I don't have the ball band with me, but I will put the colorway number on the screen there and it is so pretty this is a hundred percent Portuguese wool and it is really soft and springy almost I don't know how else to put that but it is making such a lovely pair of socks I really want to wear them so when I start I have a bunch of other socks that I'm working on that I will show you next, but I love these socks. I love my other pair too that I had knit for her. Yeah, so it's a really cool stripey pattern. I would ex I expected this to be even more stripey, but I really love how it's working up. And I'm doing these on size 2.25 millimeter Chiagu needles. Wow. Chiagu needles, which is size 1 US. And yeah, these have been great to have on the go and don't have to worry about like having a pattern with me. I have it pretty much memorized now. And then this progress keeper is one of my own. This is a little star cookie. Come on, there you go. Yeah, it's just a little sugar cookie with some blue frosting and some stars. I thought it matched really nicely. And I'm just keeping this in a bag um, my Harry Potter bag. This is originally a makeup bag, but I turned it into a project bag with this little pin and a 
attachment it has the kitchener stitch on there and a needle gauge from the impossible knot in 100 mile house here in bc and it's perfect for a little sock project and to throw in whatever bag i'm taking yeah so that's my that's the project i throw uh, into my purse whenever we're going anywhere and it has been such a lovely make i enjoy them a lot a little sip of tea my goal is to not let this get cold on me because that happens every time i podcast Okay, so my next work in progress, um, I'll show you this one first. It is in a brand new bag from uh, So Crafty Crafter. And look at this bag, Espresso Patronum. <laughs> oh, I love this bag. It's so cute. And then the inside has the Hogwarts houses and it is such a great little sock bag so in here I am keeping uh, a pair of interlocking pad socks so the last time I showed you these they were just cuffs I think but I have worked really hard and I've moved on to just one and gotten pretty far realize that th this is a pattern that I'm designing and hopefully we'll have out in June but the the cables on here you can't do them two at a time so I switched over to just doing one at a time and it has been great so on here I have the main color is David Bowie from Black Cat Custom Yarn and the orange is an orange from Kate Celine. It was a little extra mini that she threw in with an order that I had gotten from her and they fit together so well. I'm so happy with how these turned out. And I am just knitting these on my Addie's Crazy Trio on size, sorry, I believe two millimeter, yep, two millimeter US zeros. And oh, they're so much fun. And I've just finished a short row heel on there, and which are my favorite heels to do. And the progress keeper is one when I very one of the very first progress keepers that I ever made. This was what really got me into doing progress keepers. It's a little ombre cake with chocolate frosting and a dollop of whipped cream on there. I want to try and remake this progress keeper. And so that will probably end up in the shop pretty soon. So yeah, so I'm just doing one. I have the other one on DPNs right now, just in a little uh, needle cozy that I made myself. And it is just at the beginning of the cables. And once I'm done this sock, I will move these needles over to this sock and finish that one. I had been really wanting a vanilla sock to do, but I didn't want to cast on another pair of socks because I had a lot of knitting to do already on these socks. So I pushed through to um, start getting some cables done and I had completely forgotten how easy this cable pattern is and how enjoyable it is to do. So in my, it's probably my new favorite bag, so cute. I think she did these in all house colors, the little coffee cups. I'm a Hufflepuff, but 
This little Gryffindor cup is amazing. And then my last work in progress here is another pair of interlocking sock interlocking pad socks. And this is um, my other sock. I had finished this one first and I believe I had finished the heel on it and I had tried it on and realized that I must have been really stressed or something when I had knit those cables because they were so tight and I couldn't get them over my heel. So I decided to switch over. Um, I had trade, uh, traded these needles that I was doing the other interlocking pad socks on and use these to pick up the stitches because this, the Addy Crazy Trio, they're fantastic, but they're not very pointy compared to the Chiagu. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, so I used these to pick up the stitches and it was very easy to do. And I am just redoing the cable and making sure that it is has some nice give and usually I'd be bothered by having to redo stuff but it's so lovely uh, to do these cables I enjoy it so much and then the progress keeper is my film club from April for Fantastic Mr. Fox and it's one of the little Mr. Bean's apples and that was so much fun to make. I do have um, some clubs, sorry, brain fart. <laughs> I do have some clubs in the shop right now for the film club, Studio Ghibli Club, and Fairy Tale Club. And yeah, so that goes so well with this sock. The yarns, I should talk about those. So the main color is Rooster from Enchanted Knits and the mini is a rose gold from Hey Sister Yarn Co. And they go so well together. Neither are dying right now, I'm so sorry. I was just so lucky to be able to have these and put them together. And these are being kept in another new bag that I had gotten just before we moved. So this became my travel bag for I think three projects. I kept two pairs of socks and my muscle burr hat in here. And this is a bag from the Noble Character Crafts and it is fantastic. I love it so much. So it's got the bandana pattern, which is very me, and inside, bright green. <laughs> oh, I love this color so much. And then, on the inside, it has a little pocket, and it also has this great little clip that I keep a bunch of stitch markers on. And this is great, because I'm constantly losing those little light bulb shaped um, markers and I use them a lot for doing I've been using them to do the cables I have one like just attached to the sock right there but I use them to carry the stitches over for my cables because it's just fingering weight and I also had this skein in my bag this was a brand new acquisition that I just adore. This yarn, I hand wound this into a ball. I'll be putting up a tutorial pretty soon of how to do this, but this yarn is from a new to me company and I've been wanting to get some yarn from them for a very long time. But I saw this yarn and it was just like, I had to have it. So this is Vermin Crush from Stitchcraft and Wizardry. It is on their House Elf Liberty Base, which is 85% superwash 
merino, the special merino. I don't know what EF stands for. You'll have to, if somebody knows, do tell. <laughs> and 15% nylon. So this is on a fingering base. And I'm not a huge pink person, but throw pink and green together and I'm all over it. Green is my favorite color, so anything with green makes me so happy. Same with like blues and greens, pink and green, those are the best combos. And so I will definitely be making a pair of socks with this. I have some design ideas that I wanna do with this. So be getting into that. I've just been keeping it in this bag as well for, I'm just waiting on some more Addy Trio needles in a bigger size to start a sock with. And that is all my works in progress. So those have been, all been going through them. I'm working a lot on the interlocking pad socks because I really want those to be out into the world. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll be out in June. I will be calling for testers next week at some point on my Instagram. So if you're interested in uh, testing them, keep a lookout for that over on my Instagram. I'll show you. My boyfriend, so sweet, and getting me my favorite chocolates. Um, and this yarn. He also got me a pair of leggings that are lined with Sherpa. I'm wearing them right now. I wear them almost every day. They are so comfortable. But this yarn, oh my goodness. This is Knit Circus yarn on their trampoline base, which is 100% superwash merino. And it's a fingering weight. And it is the colorway Twitter pated. So back when we first started dating, we used the word Twitter pated all the time. Like, oh, you got me all Twitter pated. And so this yarn brings back those memories. And oh, it's so pretty. I want to knit myself a muscle burr hat with this. And it would look really cool with like the great the gradient of colors. And, oh, it's so soft and lovely. So I wanted to show that off. Oh, I love it so much. Knit Circus. I've been wanting to use their yarn for a very long time. I just haven't been able to get my hands on some of it. And now I do. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about is the Charm Clubs. So this will be my second run of Charm Clubs, or uh, they come in the options of Progress Keeper or Earrings. And so this go round um, ha also has the three clubs. We have the Fairy Tale Club, which is each club is inspired by. Uh, a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. This go round, it is the Wild Swans, which will be a progress keeper or pair of earrings made out of Palmer clay. And I will be putting up um, the story on my Instagram. I will read it and I am going to be putting out the um, Nightingale story next week from the first club. I had so much fun making that one. Uh, the next club is the Studio Ghibli Club and this go around is inspired by my favorite movie. It's gotta be my favorite one. It's in competition with my neighbor Totoro, but when I sit down and wanna watch a movie, this is one of my favorite ones to watch. It's Howl's Moving Castle and so it'll be a progress keeper or pair of earrings inspired by that movie and then there is the film club which this go around is inspired by the movie chocolate which is a amazing movie I've watched that movie 
so many times uh, since I can remember and it always makes me want chocolate after and during watching it so if you're gonna watch that movie be sure you have chocolate on hand <laughs> and so it'll be a progress keeper or pair of earrings inspired by that movie so those are all in the shop right now and they will be open till the end of May and all clubs are shipped out on June 1st and if you want to get in on those uh, do hop over and purchase one and if you're gonna purchase something else with it just know that whatever you buy with the clubs will go out with it in June if you want that thing sooner uh, buy it in a separate purchase from the clubs and yeah I will put up some pictures of uh, the last clubs progress keepers at the end of the podcast just to show them and give you a little inspiration for uh, I don't know what they were I'm very proud of them and yeah I think that's all I want to talk about for those clubs yeah thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed the podcast if you did do subscribe and hit that like and I will talk to you next time dear friends have a wonderful day bye